Caleb Williams is the most hyped prospect in a generation. Breaking countless records in winning the Heisman, Williams was easily the choice for the Chicago Bears and the number one pick. Today we're gonna simulate Caleb Williams' entire career to see how it plays out. Okay, so at the beginning of his rookie year, Caleb Williams is a hidden dev, 76 overall, 6'1", 214. Um, he's got improviser, scrambler, everything's about a 75, 93 pro power, 86 on the run. Accuracies are all between 78 and 86, not bad. 86 speed, 89 excel. So, got a good base. And we're going to see how this season plays out. This is his rookie year, so I don't expect it to be too good. But the Bears themselves are a pretty good team. You do have Keenan Allen, DJ Moore, got a lot of weapons. Obviously, you drafted Roman Dunze, the defense between Jalen Johnson and Kevin Byard. You got a lot of pieces on this team. I think the Bears should be okay. So we'll see how this season goes. So at the end of year one, the Bears actually go 6-11. It's kind of disappointing. Um, I'm going to take a look at the schedule, see how we played. Just really weren't scoring that much. I mean, I don't think we scored over 28 points once. Which, four touchdowns is a lot of points. But most of our games, we seem to score like twice, maybe three times. Damn. Kind of disappointing, if we're being honest. Let's take a look at Caleb Williams' stats. Almost last. Oh, my God. He was last in passing yards. Oh, my God. He didn't even throw 3,000 yards. 18 touchdowns, six interceptions. Whoa. We don't like that. So even though Caleb Williams didn't have a great rookie season, he is a superstar X Factor. He jumped all the way up to an 81. We love to see that. He's developed really well. 93 throw power, 88 throw on the run. Speed and style haven't changed at all, but the accuracies have all gone up. The short accuracy is almost 90. Wow, he's playing well. He's progressing super well. Let's take a look at the roster. We went through free agency going into year two. Let's see what if the Bears upgraded anything. Let's auto reorder. Our offensive line seems to have developed. We bring in Ryan Kelly. Love to see that. DeAndre Swift is still here. DJ Moore, Keenan Allen. Or excuse me, Romo Dunze is a superstar. Defensively, any upgrades? Drafted two hidden dev D linemen. Love to see that. Everything else looks very similar. We bring in Matthew Judon. Okay, that's new. And then have a hidden dev kick returner. Okay. So the team definitely looks like it made some upgrades. Love to see that. Going into year two, Caleb Williams has progressed all the way to an 84, almost a 10 overall jump. 93 throw power. All of his accuracies are 85 or above. 86 speed, 89 excel. His throw on the run is 92. Under pressure is 91. He's already a superstar X factor. They didn't automatically give him one, so I'm just going to give him one anyways. I like Omaha. I think Omaha's sick. And we actually go 10 and 7. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. We're the five seed. The Packers are the one seed. They actually win the division. Okay. Take it on the Rams in LA. Take a look at the standings. How did we do? Packers were 16 and 1. Oh my God. God, we seem to score better. We have multiple, yeah, we had four straight games over 30, which is awesome. The Packers, holy shit, bro. Okay, so we're a better team for sure, but are we close to them? Which is kind of insane to think about out loud because the Packers, I don't, I mean, 17th in offense, didn't really pass, but we must have ran the ball all over them. Wow. Caleb Williams had 800 yards on the ground. DeAndre Swift had 1,000. Yeah, wait, well, you almost had 2,000 yards on the ground as a team. Holy shit, that's actually crazy. Caleb Williams upped his TDs, did it up his interceptions, upped his yards, though. A better season than we're winning, but I would have hoped to have more passing yards from Caleb Williams at this point in his career, but not the worst. Did have the NFC Offensive Player of the Week. 200 passing yards, two touchdowns, and 72 rushing yards. 21 carries? Holy shit. Dude, they're using him like Cam Newton. Golly. That must have been an outlier because the rest of these games, he's getting like seven. You know what I didn't check last year that I didn't even think about? Caleb Williams did. I, I forgot to show it. Caleb Williams won Rookie of the Year, which is why he got the dev trade up. I can't believe I forgot to show that. That's why he got the Superstar X Factor up, up. But right now we are the five seed. We're in the playoffs. We're gonna we're gonna watch this game. And the Bears. Uh oh. The Bears are a couple first downs away from knocking out the Rams. Here we go. Finds Odunze, the rookies. I guess they're not rookies anymore. They're Year One guys. Here we go. DeAndre Swift. Santos made a 48-yard field goal. We are one onside kick return away from taking down the Rams. Can we do it? Game over. And the Chicago Bears are going to take down the Rams. DJ Moore, eight receptions for a buck 12. Boys, the Bears are a couple wins away from a Super Bowl in Kate Williams' second season. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to hop into some of these games just because, you know, it's more fun. Next up, it's the Packers. Let's take a look at the weekly awards. Caleb Williams. Nope, Tremaine Evans. And I'll be honest, boys, we've simulated this game. The Caleb Williams era started off great. We made the playoffs in our second season, went 11-7, and, and unfortunately we lost to the Packers in the divisional. 
They seem like an absolute juggernaut, at least for now. Had a good season, gonna have to keep building on it. So at the end of season two, Caleb Williams is an 88. He's boosted to a 90 overall with the morale. 93 through all power, not every accuracy is in the 90s. Throwing the run is 93. Speeds a little faster, excels a little faster. He is starting to become a elite quarterback. Going into season number three, let's take a look at the lineup. Caleb Williams, again, already up to an 88. All of his accuracies are 89 or higher. His throw power is 93. He's under pressure, his throw under pressure is 94. Speed 86, Excel 90. I mean, the dude's a stud. They lost. Oh, no. DJ Moore's hurt. How is he? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, DJ Moore got hurt? Okay. So DJ Moore is still here. Odunze is now the wide receiver two. Keenan Allen's still here at wide receiver three. DeAndre Swift is almost a 90 overall. Got a hole at right guard. But other than that, oh, defensively. Oh, defensively. Kevin Byard retiring really screws us. Brian Kendall Fuller. Like to see that. None of the defensive tackles we... Oh, wow. We just... The defense is definitely something that needs to be taken into account because we are struggling there going into year three bears have some pretty high expectations after last season so let's see if we can top them wow we fell off heavy we went four and 13 holy shit was it the off oh my god i mean we lose we're losing by by one score one score one score one score one score we lost five games by one score that's it i mean i guess we're really still not that good of a team holy shit what happened damn okay let's take a look at the stats did caleb not play yeah, we were, were at least in offense again. I had, I think, more touchdowns, less interceptions, just not throwing the ball. I don't know what it is. Do I need to switch the scheme up? Or we seem like we're running the ball a decent amount, getting, you know, four yards, four and a half yards per carry. Let me see something. Did Caleb Williams get hurt? This was his lowest passing yard year. Most touchdowns, though. Played in all six, 17 games. Okay, so he wasn't hurt. Huh, I don't know why we're not throwing the ball around. Taking a look at the roster, Caleb Williams up to a 90 overall. DeAndre Swift, an 88. He seems to have lost his superstar and now just a star. Have Cole Komet up here as well. Roma Dunze is now the certified number two behind DJ Moore. Also have a couple of hidden dev offensive linemen, Sloan and Hazelwood. These guys should be huge for us going forward. We really needed that. So I'm glad that we drafted that well. Defensively, winter's cool. We have sweat. We just, you know, the defense is okay outside of really Jalen Johnson. Again, Caleb Williams, a 90 overall, a true 90. All of his accuracies are 89. Throw on the run at 93, throw power 93, under pressure 95, speed 86, excel 90. I mean, the dude's a stud. Why are we switching? That's, dude, that's why. Heading into year four, we need a big bounce back here from Caleb Williams. Let's see what we can get. We went 15 and two? Holy shit. We have a first round bye? Oh my God, I gotta take a look at our team. Who did we lose to? We have the best record in the NFL? Oh my God. Who the hell beat us? 15 and 2? Dude, our offense is flying around. We didn't score less than 20 points all season. Oh my god, finally. We lost two games in our last four. So the Seahawks by three, the Packers by six. Damn, losing to the Packers fucking sucks. But we smoked the Packers in Lambeau. Love to see that. Taking a look at the stats and the awards. Here we go. Second in the NFL in passing yards. Oh my goodness. 43 touchdowns to five interceptions. Holy shit. Caleb Williams. DeAndre Swift had 1,000 yards. Dude, we were an offensive juggernaut. Two 1,000-yard receivers. Komet had almost 1,000. Keenan Allen had 700. Holy shit. There's no way we didn't win MVP. Oh, my God. Get this bozo out of here. No. I don't give a shit about winning coach of the year, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's right. Best QB. Shout out to Caleb Williams. That's so... Dude, get Mahomes' fraudulent ass out of here. Second in the league in passing yards. Holy smokes, Caleb Williams had a season. We're taking on the pet. We gotta get revenge. We can't, bro, we gotta get revenge. We have to get revenge for them beating us. We absolutely have to. They beat us two years ago to end our playoff run. They beat us to end this season. Oh my God. We're laying the smack down on the Packers. Holy shit. We're throttling them. I'm not hopping into this game. I don't need to. We're up by two touchdowns. Wow, the Bears bend the Packers over and advance to the NFC Championship game. Holy shit. Caleb Williams, five touchdowns, almost 400 yards. Holy shit. Oh my God. Sorry, DeAndre Swift. This is Caleb Williams time. Oh my goodness. The Rams. Oh my God. The team we beat in our last playoff run. We get one more shot at them and they are loaded. Jared Verse, Chase Young. Puka, Chase Young is a fucking superstar X Factor. Oh my God. Puka Nakua. Holy smokes. This team is good. A playoff game at Soldier, the NFC Championship game. 14 to 7. The Bears. Can we get one more? Oh, the Rams are a good team, bro. Oh my God. We're actually moving the ball really well. If we can get this here, I'm going to hop in. If we can get this, we're going to win this game. Give me the block, DeAndre Swift. Give me the block. Who is that? Is that Tyler Scott? I don't think that was Romo Dunze, was it? Second and inches. DeAndre Swift, take us home. I'm going to do it after the two minute warning. 
any score here wins the game, but a first down steals it. DeAndre Swift, take us home. Just need a couple inches. Huge. Game over. Game over. Yeah, that was my fault. I tried to cut it up. Matt is going to be wide open for a touchdown, by the way. Watch this. Oh, not a touchdown, but I tried. Thought it was going to be a touchdown. All right, DeAndre Swift, here we go. And the Chicago Bears are going to go to the Super Bowl. We are one onside kick away. The Bears. Got it. Oh, Dunze grabs it. And that'll do it, folks. The Chicago Bears and Caleb Williams are one win away from his their first Super Bowl. Holy. That's Desmond Ritter. What the fuck is he doing on the Rams? Is he their quarterback now? Taking on the Ravens. So Caleb Williams versus Lamar Jackson for the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. The Chicago Bears are back in it for the first time with Caleb Williams. We might have a dynasty on our hands, folks. The Bears finally score. The Ravens, however, are cooking. Bears tie it up, and the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. The Ravens are pulling away, and the Bears fall to the Ravens in the Super Bowl, 35-17. to In just his fourth season, Caleb Williams makes the Super Bowl for the first time in his career, but he falls to Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson finally gets a ring, and uh, unfortunately, Bears are going to have to come back next year. Caleb Williams did not have a great game. Threw the ball all over the place, but didn't man wasn't able to finish a lot of drives, only had one touchdown. We really didn't run the ball that effectively. I mean, only 30-something yards on the ground. Yeah, they really bottled up the offense. Ravens played a great game. They're a great team. We win coach of the year, but unfortunately, we do not win the Super Bowl. Ah, oh, the damn Ravens. Keenan Allen, Ryan Kelly, and David Bakhtiari all retire. Wow. And obviously, even though we didn't win the Super Bowl, we were able to get three straight NFC Offensive Player of the Weeks for Caleb Williams. Hopefully, we can win the Super Bowl this year. That'd be huge. Let's take a look at the lineup going into year, what is this, year five? The Bears don't re-sign Roma Dunze. Our offensive line has gotten much better. We do have two superstars. These are guys we drafted in Hazelwood and Sloan. We have a in-depth tight end in Peters. But they let, they let Odunze walk. Oh my God. We have Swift. We have DJ Moore. We have some guys in Barker and West, but... Oh my god. Defensively, Jalen Johnson is a superstar X Factor. We do have uh, Hidden Dev and the defense is a little better ish. Oh my god. And we let Tory Taylor walk. Oh my god, what are the Bears doing? We just made a Super Bowl and they just let everybody walk. Caleb Williams is up to a hard 95. My goodness. All accuracy is above a 93. Throw a power 93. Throw on the run a 96. Holy shit, this dude's a stud. How did we do? Went 11 and 6. Okay, not bad. The Vikings went 13 and four. Let's take a look at our schedule. Offense struggled just a little more. We did lose Roma Dunze, but you know, 17 points in a win's fine. 24 points in a loss, not bad. 20 points in a loss, not bad. This Bills game, yeah, okay, that's kind of concerning. These two games are concerning. Vikings and Jaguars, we couldn't score at all. Vikings again, this is a game, yeah. But we we, we played it okay. We're a playoff team for sure, but I just don't, I can't imagine we're as good as the team we were last year, which sucks, because we were a fucking Super Bowl team last year. I don't know who Joel Sloan is, but he became a superstar. Oh, it's our left guard. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. We're the five seed. Okay, obviously we can't win our division, so it doesn't even matter. The Vikings are the one seed. We're going to take on the Saints. Let's see how it goes. Caleb Williams heads to New Orleans to take on... I don't even know who the quarterback for the Saints is. Who is that? Derek Carr? <laughs> and after a slow start, the Bears seem to have taken control of this game. Oh, wait, no. Gotta get a stop, defense. Oh, we did. I don't know what's going on. Here we go, boys. We're a first down away from taking down the Saints. Great move, DeAndre Swift. Seven rushes for 12 yards. That is pitiful, by the way. Ball game, folks. That's the ball game, folks. But you know what? DeAndre Swift has been a workhorse for us. We're going to get DeAndre Swift some more yards. Just because Caleb Williams is a nice guy. Caleb Williams has two touchdowns, 300. We soaked up all his ball. That was huge. 300 yards, ran the ball for 30 yards and a touchdown. DeAndre Swift kind of fed him some yards at the end, but who cares? He's a board course. And we're going to the divisional. And now we're taking on the Vikings. Oh my goodness. The division rival Vikings. They have Justin Jefferson, who's only a superstar X Factor? Only a superstar, excuse me? Damn. Good chance to take on the Vikings for the first time in the playoffs. 
This would be huge. 7-7, seven, seven, the Vikings and the Bears trade scores. We go up 7. Oh, they answer right back. Holy smokes, they scored fast. Gotta score here, boys. We went for two again. And didn't here we go, boys. Fourth and inches. We need a couple yards. They're bringing a big blitz. Gotta get there. Gotta get there. Get out of there, Swift. Oh, there we go. Huge, boys. No Keenan Allen. No Rumo Dunze. DJ Moore. That's all we got. Gotta have it, boys. Caleb, how do you miss that? I don't know who that is, but great catch. Is that DJ Moore? Who is that? No. No, he has to... Uh, turn around! No, that's fucking... I don't even know who that is. My backup tight end? <sighs> DJ Moore, let's go! Can our defense step up? Nope, they can't. 13 seconds, no timeouts. Gonna have to make a miracle happen here. Here we go. Get out of there! No! DJ Moore, what are we doing? Why did he slow down? It wouldn't let me get out of bounds. That's so brutal. Holmes wins another Super Bowl. Todd Bowles is our new offensive coordinator. Holy shit, our offensive coordinator's gone. Let's take a look at the lineup going into year six. DJ Moore is regressing significantly. We do have some, we actually have a lot of hidden dev guys on the team. Christmas, the receiver, we have Swinton and Spikes, the lineman. We do have some morale boost. We have West at here. We have Moore as an 84, but damn, we don't have anybody that's, Komet's still a stud. Swift is slowly starting to regress. Offensively, I wonder if our time has passed. Defensively, my goodness, we are, our linebackers are ugly. We have Benjamin, another free state, or strong safety who's developing, Jalen Johnson over here. Uh, defense is okay. We just need to find someone for, or for free safety, excuse me, and then some linebackers, and then maybe a new defensive tackle. Christmas will be our kick returner and punt returner. We like to see that. I mean, we're okay. We're not bad, I just, Caleb Williams going into his sixth season, a 98 overall. I mean, the dude's a stud. Everything's in the 90s. All his throw power, his accuracy, he's just throwing the runs in 99. I mean, he's the number one quarterback in football. It's unreal. He's him. And if you're a Bears fan, if this is how he develops, listen, you might not have won a Super Bowl yet, but damn it, he's a stud. And he signed, let's take a look at his contract. I just realized he re-signed. He had the ability to walk away this offseason. He signed a six-year deal worth 207 oh my god i don't know how his contract why his contract falls off in 2034 to almost only only 38 million but 65 million 68 million 71 75 almost 80 million in 2033 holy shit at the end of the season we went 11 and 6 again we are in the wild card i wonder who what, let's take a look at our division the vikings those we're the third best team in football second best in the north us and the packers are tied for the second best team in the nfc the nfc north has three of the four best teams in football holy shit wow we lost three of our six games in the first three weeks these aren't even bad losses i mean losing the vikings they're obviously great chiefs have Mahomes. falcons Kind of an interesting loss, but we rattled off, what, eight games in a row, seven games in a row, and then we lost three more. Dude, we didn't, that's in, that's incredible. We lost three, won seven, lost three, won four. Wow. Our offense was great, right? This is the only game where it's like, damn, the Lions kind of kicked our teeth in. But we got a win against the Browns where it was an ugly win, and that's, we needed to prove that we can win those games, and we did. So I'd say we had a great season. 11-6, let's take a look at the playoff picture. We're the five seed again, obviously taking on the Giants, the fucking Vikings. Taking a look at, let's take a look at the stats. Let's see how we did this year. Ninth in offense, Caleb Williams was eighth in passing yards. 3,900 yards, 34 touchdowns, only three interceptions. Wow. DeAndre Swift had almost 1,000 yards. Caleb Williams had 400 yards on the ground. Looks like DeAndre Swift's time as our lead back is slowly coming to an end. Taking a look at his year over year, definitely the lowest passing yards he's had in the last three years, but had a better passing touchdown year last this year than last year so not bad this was obviously an incredible year this wasn't a bad year you know much better than his first three seasons but I think the lack of weapons is really starting to show itself we're taking on the eight and nine Giants I mean the Giants are just objectively bad so I don't know how they have three x-factors and neighbors Lawrence and Rollins I don't know who their quarterback is it's got to be an auto-generated guy but we'll be fine held into a field goal the offense has to get going but we're really just not doing much on offense right now. Defense has to step up. Oh my God. Come on, offense. The Giants, the eight and nine Giants. Oh, there we go. They're giving us everything we can handle right now. 36 seconds, I need a touchdown with no timeouts. This is gonna be brutal. Great ball! No fucking way to hold, dude. <laughs> no way.
I mean, it's just got to go. Just go. It's just got to go. Like, I know I have to throw it to DJ more. The hold absolutely fucked me. That's crazy, bro. Another year, another playoff disappointment. Wow, this is actually getting brutal. Wow, Caleb Williams did not play well. Under 200 yards passing. Only one touchdown was 10 for 23. Oh my God, the Giants defense was cooking. Ran the ball uh, terribly. Holy shit, we had 23, dude. I don't know if I don't know what's gonna happen because we're playing great football in the regular season. We're making the playoffs, but then we just damn disappointing. Caleb Williams wins the MVP. I didn't even look at that. I didn't. I didn't even think he was gonna have a chance to win MVP. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, wait a minute. Did I just see Mac Jones led the lead in pa league in passing yards, bro? What the fuck is this timeline? Forty-five hundred passing yards for Mac Jones, bro. Get the hell out of here. Let's take a look at. The stats, in-season awards. Won't let me even see him. He was the MVP. That's actually crazy. I did not expect that. So Caleb Williams wins an MVP. We're about to have $50 million in cap space going into this offseason. That, we could make some big moves. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Going into year, I believe this is year seven. Caleb Williams, a hard 99. DeAndre Swift is gone. Perriman is our new running back. He's an 81 overall. DJ Moore is down to a regular. I don't even know where... Christmas is. Our receiving core is absolutely gutted. Our offensive line, fine, right? Cole commits up to a superstar X Factor. Love to see that. Defensively, Goodwin develops into a star, so we're getting there. Our strong safeties are now starting to fall off. Corners, Monta Sweat walks. Winter is Winter is hurt. We have Guyton, who's still a dude. I mean, our team is just. Oh my god. Tremaine Edmonds is hurt. We do have Williams. I mean, this is just. It's such a different team, but Winter coming back is going to be huge, but damn, this sucks. This is a very interesting season for Caleb Williams. Let's take a look at his overall. I imagine he's a hard 99. He is. Hard 99. I mean, dude's a fucking stud. Seventh year, legitimately 90, almost 99 everything. I mean, this, this, is, this is just ridiculous. I mean, he's legitimately the best quarterback in the league. I mean, 99 everything in current of the core attributes. Dude's an absolute monster. He's the reason we're winning games. The league MVP for a reason. Going into year seven, we start the season off with the game against the Vikings. Let's see how we do this season. Here we go. How do we do this season? We went 11 and six, won the division. Looks like we tied for the best record in the league, or at least the NFC. Wow, there are so many 10 and seven, 11 and six teams. Holy shit. So we're the three seed. We're gonna be hosting a playoff game. We're hosting the Vi Dude, the Vikings. We cannot escape the Vikings right now. <laughs> oh my God. All right, let's take a look at the schedule how do we do this game against the vikings we got smoked i don't like to say that this game against the dolphins that's fine often seem to be a little worse but not terribly worse this season this game against the seahawks we love to see that type of win gritty at win game against the bills don't like to see that yeah it, it, it seems the common theme is if we didn't score 20 points we didn't win games so that's the number then we lost three of our final five games Hmm. Patriots, Cardinals, Niners. Don't like to see that. Seventh league in passing. Love to see that. On just under 4,000 yards, 24 touchdowns, seven interceptions. I mean, wow. Perriman and Brandon for almost 1,000 yards in his second season. Six touchdowns. Beckett had eight touchdowns. We ran the ball semi-effectively. So that's, I mean, that's good to see. Caleb Williams has gotten to the point where he's he's throwing for, you know, about the same stats every year. 4,000 passing yards. The touchdowns were way down. Whoa. He played in all 17 games. I mean, we, I guess... If we look at the running touchdowns on our team, we kind of ran a lot this season in terms of scoring touchdowns. I think we had four or five. Definitely the worst season in the last four years. Kind of a concerning trend, but our offense, we don't have the weapons, especially in the receiving game. We have Cole Komet and then a bunch of bucking bozos. So I'm really that upset about it. Got to play the Vikings. This is not going to be an easy game. Justin Jefferson and the auto-generated JJ McCarthy versus Caleb Williams. Here we go, boys. Super Bowl run starts now. Got to get a stop. Nope, no stop there. Offense is cooking. Seven apiece. Defense, you got to hold them. Damn. Damn, uh oh this is not good. Offense is sputtering. We got to get some points here. There we go. We kick the field goal down three. Can we take down the Vikings? Christmas on the outside. Gonna put Samuels underneath. Fuck is ticking. I didn't even realize that when I was sitting there dicking around with audibles. Give me the first. Easy. Just got to go. We just need a field goal when seventh game to overtime. They look like they're in man. Christmas. Up the middle! In field goal range already. We just need a field goal, but a touchdown would end the game. Cole Komet, get up field, big fella. Why did we just call? I didn't call a timeout. What the fuck was that? That was weird. Did, does it auto call timeouts? Get in my check down. We're going for the win, boys. We're not doing this. 
hogwash analytic bullshit. Is that DJ Moore? Is that DJ Moore? Old man DJ Moore! I wanna play this shit. I'm not playing defense, boys. This is a Caleb Williams career simulation. I'm not playing defense. We gotta score. 14 seconds to do a field goal. Holy shit. I have two timeouts left. We couldn't hold them. That's crazy. <sighs> gotta take off. I didn't, I didn't have anything. They're gonna be in cover two man. Cole Komet might be open. I got it. I'm in field goal range. Holy shit. We missed the field! Dude, we missed the field goal. Holy fucking shit. I'm sick, bro. I'm sick to my stomach. The worst part about this is that after playoff disappointment, and I know he's the guy. He's a 99 overall. And I, but I, it's just a Caleb Williams crew simulation. This isn't me rebuilding the Bears with Caleb Williams. Like, I can't take over. So if they don't make the right moves, then there's nothing I can do. Let's take a look at the roster going into what I believe is year eight. Caleb Williams is a hard 99. Perriman is up to an 83. Yeah, Christmas. Okay, Christmas is an 81. He didn't really develop. I don't... Peters is a tight end. He's actually kind of a stud. Cole Komet's regressing, but he's still super strikes factor. Have a hole at center, but other than that, our offensive line is pretty solid. Defensively, we're, we're actually kind of okay. Um, we have, is this Dexter Lawrence? We signed fucking Dexter Lawrence, old man Dexter Lawrence to probably a ridiculous contract. Oh, only a one year deal. Okay, Dexter Lawrence is here for a one year deal. We have Elam on the edge. Our defensive line is better. Our linebackers are kind of tough. Gardner's a good linebacker, but no dev trait. Goodwin's a star. Howard is hidden dev. We like to see that. Jalen Johnson's starting to regress. Rivers is here. I mean, the team is just getting older. That's the problem. Going into year eight, Caleb Williams, still a hard 99 overall. I mean, he's the best player in football at this point, right? His ratings haven't gone up. Why? Because they can't go up. Like, he's just a fucking monster. The only thing he can do is get faster, but he you know, apparently just doesn't want to get fast. Does have four years left on his deal. These next three years are, he's getting paid a bag. But that final year... They're gonna have a decent amount of cap space, so I wonder if they're gonna use that for anything. Obviously, I don't wanna wait three years to win a Super Bowl, but we waited seven, so what's well, a couple more? Caleb Williams, I'm seeing a lot of him. I'm seeing a lot of our defensive guys as well. See how see our team did, we were 11 and six, second in the division, the five seed. Take a look at the playoff bracket, taking on the Rams. You know what's so funny? I think we played legitimately three teams in the NFC in the playoffs every year. Either the Packers, the Vikings, we played the Giants once or the Rams which is so funny. Take a look at the schedule. Did the team get better? Yes. I mean, this is a, this is a tough loss. These Listen, we started the season off actually brutal, and then we f went on a major win streak. We went like 10 of our last 13 games. We're fine losing that game. It's a tough game to Carolina. Losing to the Packers is never easy. This game against the Chiefs is a game that kind of tough to lose. Well, we actually lost to the Packers. We actually lost to the Packers twice. Yeah, I mean, losing to the Chiefs, that's a tough game. Losing to the Packers, I mean, we scored 26 points. We scored four fucking times. That's fine. This is a huge one. I like to see wins like this against the Broncos where it's just a gritty game. Don't like to see a loss like this to the Vikings. Giants lost, yeah, they're a playoff team. We're losing just a playoff team pretty much, but I wish we could score more points more consistently. That's their big thing. Take a look at stats and awards. Caleb, there's, he probably didn't win MVP, but first in the NFL in passing yards, third in total offensive yards. Damn, Jordan Love wins MVP, bro. Get this fraud out of my fucking face. And he wins OPO, dude, 4,200 yards, 34 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Yeah, this is, I mean, that's a great year. Yeah, I mean, his most passing touchdowns, or excuse me, his time for his second most passing touchdowns. Interception seven, that's fine. He's throwing five touchdowns for every interception. His most passing yards since 2028 in the last, third most ever. I mean, he had a great season. We got to take on the Rams, though. They're 10 and seven. They won the North, or excuse me, they won the West. It's not going to be an easy game. Herbert is the quarterback for the Rams? Whoa. But he switched locker rooms. That's crazy. Started off 7 nothing. Defense got to get a stop. Can't get a stop. This is an, a slugfest of a football game right now. There we go. The offense, 28 to 18. We can get some points here. This game is probably over. Game is not over. Game is probably over. Game is okay. If we can get this onside kick, we're going to take down the Rams. Here we go, boys. Got it. No! <gasps> Oh, we got it. One first down is all we need. Wow, I, I just, that, our left guard just got fucking flat. Behrman, here we go. I kind of ran that like an idiot, but damn, that was, they were in the backfield quick. Give me the block. Commit! Perriman! Ball game! Get one more! One more for the road! See you later, Rams! And just like that, we take down the Rams 44 to 32 to advance to the divisional. I wonder who we're gonna play. It might be the Packers. Take a look at the player stats. 27 for 35, five touchdown for Caleb Williams. Played a great game. 
Ran the ball well, Perriman. I got a lot of those in the last drive, but whatever. Take a look at the playoff bracket. We're taking the Packers, of course. Who? Why would it be anybody else but the fucking Green Bay Packers? Caleb Williams wins NFC Offensive Player of the Week. Love to see that. Not gonna be easy, boys. Gotta win this one. Gotta go into Lambo. Shit's not easy, boys. Wouldn't have it any other way. Caleb Williams, Jordan Love, the two stars of the North. We gotta have this one. Great job. Oh my God, our defense is getting torched apart. Here we go. We tied it. We're always playing back, but. Oh, we missed an extra point? Bro, how are we missing so many extra points? This is me. Here we go. Fourth and six. We need a first down to keep the drive alive. I don't know who that is, but you gotta hold on to that. Nice job. Caleb Williams, take us home, big dog. Komet, oh my goodness, there we go. Two points away from the tie, we got it too. A field goal wins the divisional. Get up field, get up field. Oh my God, that, I don't even know who that is. I just had like a stroke trying to say his name. Matthew, that's gotta be like a backup tight end because that was a great route by him. Beckett. Take us home, big fella. There we go. Give me a couple out of that. Oh, 58. Go give me a block. We just need a field goal. If we get another first down, the game's over. We're going to score a touchdown, though. Oh, my God. Jalen Johnson got a pick. Game over. Let's put one more on them. Dude, he's so fast! Oh my, I shouldn't have ran out of bounds, but he's so fast. Harriman, punch this in. Give me the first! We're not gonna get anybody hurt. I know we can punch this in, but we're just gonna end this game. And we're gonna take down the Green Bay Packers! All right, never mind. Never mind. They wanna call a timeout? They wanna try to extend this game? Fuck them. And the Bears are going to go back to the NFC Championship game. See you later, Green Bay. Let's take a look at the stats. Caleb Williams played a great game. 34 for 40 with three touchdowns. Jordan Love, fraud, loser. How did we do on the ground? Ran the ball pretty well. 100 yards on the ground, three touchdowns. Caleb Williams had two of them. I ran in there with one at the end. Played well. Two games away from a Super Bowl championship. Is it going to be the Falcons or is it going to be the Giants? Let's find out. The Falcons. 11 and 6. Let's see how they did against the Giants in that game. Just snuck by them. They're the three seed. So they're going to host this game. Three straight road games. Got to get one more, boys. Hits and Bijan. This is our first time playing the Falcons in the playoffs. Taking on the Falcons. Oh my God. We're not getting any points out of these drives. The Falcons. Oh, we got we to gotta score here. Got to tie it up. Dude, why are we going for it so many times on fourth down? Oh my God, we should have like 15 points right now. Coach is going crazy. I feel like our offense has been super inefficient in this sim. This is kind of ridiculous. We are one first down away from taking down the Falcons. I don't even know what that was. Get my check down. Get out of there, Perriman. Get out of there. Get out of there, Perriman! Speed! All three timeouts, one more first down. Beckett, we need you, big fella. Damn, I needed a hold right there. Beckett, four rushes for 87 yards. Golly, he's been running all over the place. They'll never expect to pass. Why? Because it's stupid. Not that stupid, though. What are you fucking talking about? He didn't get his feet in. That is ridiculous. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter! Oh, my God. My offensive line, what are you moving for? Here we go, Beckett. Take us home, big fella. I should have cut it up left. Yeah, I fucked up the run there. They're out of timeouts. Perriman. Second and eight. Punch this bad boy in for me, big dog. I should have gone outside. If I go outside, if I went outside, I have a touchdown. And if I don't have a touchdown, I definitely have a first down. But one first down away, boys. That is actually the single worst case scenario ever. Because I don't care. I'm going to kick this and throw it. I just shanked it. No, I didn't. I'm a dog. I'm a big dog. And the Bears are going to go to the Super Bowl.
Let's go. And just like that, the Chicago Bears are one win away from having Caleb Williams lead them to a Super Bowl. Jim Harbaugh is their head coach? What the hell? All right, we're going to take on the Jaguars in the Super Bowl. So this is Caleb Williams' second Super Bowl. Hopefully this is his first win. We take 14-0 lead. D Jacksonville strikes back. We take a 10-point lead. Jacksonville is not going away. But Caleb Williams will not be denied. I think the Chicago Bears are going to win the Super Bowl. We're going to hop into this one, boys. A first down here seals the game and gives the Bears their first Super Bowl in the Caleb Williams era. Six yards is all that separates us. Get there! And the Chicago Bears have finally won the Super Bowl. They take down Jacksonville 31 to 17 to win their first Super Bowl in the Caleb Williams era. Caleb Williams now has an MVP in a Super Bowl. Let's see if he gets Super Bowl MVP. Matt Eberflus, let's see who is going to get the MVP trophy. Is it going to be Caleb? Let's see Caleb's stats. 273 with three touchdowns, played a great game. Perriman had 53 yards. Caleb Williams had 40 yards on the ground. Mike Christmas, 115 yards and two touchdowns. My goodness. Less than 10 years in, Caleb Williams has his first Super Bowl. Caleb Williams has, he's a 99 overall. I don't even know what he's upgrading. The only thing I can upgrade is Scrambler. That's crazy. I can't even upgrade him. It doesn't even let me upgrade him. It literally won't let me upgrade him. He's just broken. Caleb Williams has broken Madden. I got an achievement. I don't even know what I just got an achievement for. In an online This isn't an online league. Oh, it's because I did it with. And just like that, the Bears win their first Super Bowl. Let's take a look at the yearly awards. Did we win Super Bowl MVP? Let's take a look at the season recap. Caleb Williams, the Super Bowl MVP, his first of his career as an MVP, has a Super Bowl championship. Let's hope we can add a couple more of those. Let's take a look at the roster, see what happened in the offseason. We have a Peterson is a hidden dev tight end. We really don't have anybody yet. Um, at center. The middle of our offensive line is kind of brutal, but the rest of our offensive line is full of studs. Perriman is now up to a star. Peterson, we have Phillips, a hidden dev receiver. That dude looks like Big Chungus. Outside of that, our receiver room is kind of brutal. Um, defensively, it's okay. Gardner is an 87, but he's you know, normal dev. I mean, we have a good D line in theory. Cornerbacks, Jalen Johnson is gone. That is not good. We are completely out of elite corners. I think this is I step back, but we're in a good spot with Caleb. Can the Bears go back to back? Let's find out. Caleb Williams looks like he was second in passing yards. Love to see that. How did we do? We were eight and nine. Wow. Our defense, we can, wow, our defense was brutal. We're the 10 seed. We didn't make the playoffs. What the fuck? Let's take a look at our schedule. Caleb Williams was slinging the rock. I just, our defense wasn't stopping anybody. 13 to 30. Yeah, that's a bad loss. I, it seems like we scored just a little bit less, but our defense wasn't stopping anybody. I mean, 20 points, 20, 28. 23 to 34, 28 to 31. I mean, these are all these losses are 20 plus points. We lost one game this season, two games this season where we didn't score 20 points. We didn't score 20 points. We only scored less than 20 two times a season. So I'm not, yeah, I mean, that's brutal. Okay. So def defensively, we got a lot back in. Let's take a look at Caleb's stats. Fourth in offense, second in passing yards. I mean, yeah, that's a hell. 33 touchdowns and four. Wow. Running the ball, almost a thousand yards for Perriman. Caleb Williams had 400 yards. Mike Christmas, that, he's he's Caleb's guy. Mike Christmas. Komet still plugging along. Take a look at Komet's. I can't even upgrade him. He's, he's just too good. There's nothing left to upgrade. Yeah, I mean, his, his second most passing yards ever. An incredible touchdown interception ratio. One of the lower touchdowns, but definitely one of the lower, lower interceptions. A high, really high Q QBR. I mean, he had a fantastic season. It just wasn't enough. Our defense couldn't stop a nosebleed. Justin Jefferson retires. Oh my God. Cole Komet retires. No. Oh my God. The roster is going to look so different. I do want to take a look at Caleb Williams. He's 31 already. Oh my God. He's going into his 10th season. I just want to take a look at Caleb Williams has two years left on his contract. The first year, eight, almost 80 million. But after that, there's a chance Caleb Williams walk. Let's take a look at the lineup going into year 10. Here we go. Caleb Williams still a stud. Perriman an 88 overall. So Bass, our receiver, he is now a star dev with 82 overall. Peterson, our tight end, is an 80 overall. He's star dev as well. We bring in a new center. Our offensive line is still just as good as it's ever been. Defensively, we have Goodwin here, Howard here. Our defense seems improved. We do have... Schultz, a hidden dev at defensive tackle. We have a really good defense all of a sudden. Going into year 10 for Caleb Williams, hard 99. If I'm not mistaken, I do want to check something. They restructured his contract to where next year he's at 54 million. And this year he's at 62 instead of being at like 80 and then 38. We just have two years left on his contract, including this year. See if he can lead the Bears to back to the playoffs and potentially even another Super Bowl. Taking a look at the league leaders, Caleb Williams leads the league in passing yards, 4,400 yards, 34 touchdowns. The Bears go 13 and four. And if I'm not mistaken, that means we are the number one seed in the entire NFC. Yes, we are. So we get the bye. Let's take a look at the schedule. We go 13 and four. Where did our losses come? Lost the Eagles by seven. Yeah, that's a tough one. Lost to the Lions by six. 
Didn't score that many points, but here in a game against the Seahawks, we scored 17 and one, so that's fine. Lost the game 15 to 21 to the Bengals and 4, 24 to 27. Yeah, I mean, pretty much the, the whole thing has been if we can score 20 points, we win games. But we lost two of our games when we didn't score 20 and two when we did, so. And of the games that we did score 20, every one of them was a win except the Seahawks game. So we played well. 13 and four with a one seed. Let's take a look at Caleb Williams' stats. Number one in offense, number one in passing yards, 34 touchdowns, five interceptions, 4,500 yards. So look at the rushing just to see. Almost 1,000 yards repairman. Caleb Williams had another 350 on the ground. Maurice Spears had 11, 13 attempts as a tight end, and he had eight rushing touchdowns. We had, what is that, 15? That's almost 20 rushing touchdowns. Oh, it is, that is 20 rushing touchdowns. We had 20 rushing touchdowns as a team. That's crazy. Receiving-wise, yeah. Antoine Bass, Oscar Peterson. Oh, Christmas, he got replaced. No. 11 to each of them and six to Christmas and Antoine Bass. Oh, my God. Did Caleb get MVP? He better of His second MVP. Oh my goodness, did he get Offensive Player of the Year? He better have. Oh my god, get this Brandon Bell bum, bum ass out of here. That's Caleb Williams' second MVP. See if he can make it his second Super Bowl. Let's take a look at the bracket. We're gonna be taking on the Saints, okay. So the Vikings lost to the Commanders. Okay, the Saints. I, we played them once, I believe, in the wild card, but so it's been a while. Caleb Williams hoping to lead the Bears on another push to the Super Bowl at Soldier Field. 7 0, 14 0, quick. A Quick two touchdown lead. Oh, another touchdown for the Bears. Oh my God, we are piling it on. Oh, the Saints are back. Whoa, just like that, the Saints. Oh my God, we were winning the whole game. We were smoking the Saints. And all of a sudden we're down one. Caleb Williams, we need to see it out of you, big dog. Hold on to it, Bass, what a dot. I only need, a, the Bears only need a field goal, so we can kind of afford to kill the clock. Dude, I got so nervous throwing that ball. Holy shit. Perriman, punch this across the line. We need it, big dog. All we need is a couple yards. All we need is a field goal, and we win this game. So I'm not really trying to take the top off the defense or anything like that. What the fuck was that? I know it was a sit-down route, but... That's gotta be PI. That's gotta be PI. There's no way that's a hold. Yeah, DPI. Here we go. We're declining that. We had a great play there. We're putting the ball in the hands of Perriman. A field goal wins the game, boys. We don't need anything else. Get outside, Perriman. The speed! Spin move! Perriman! And the Bears! Take the lead. Can the defense get a stop? The defense not only didn't get a stop, the Saints went for two. Oh my God, we need a field goal in 20 seconds. 25 seconds, we need a field goal. We have all three timeouts. Call my timeout. Timeout number one. I probably could have got more out of that, but I wanted to make sure I got out of bounds. If I can get to the 30 yard line, I win the game. If I can get a field, ball game! And the Bears with 20 seconds left come back and take down the Saints. Wow. That was not a game I expected to have to do that to. Holy shit. Let's take a look at this game. The Saints played great. They played great. Caleb Williams, four touchdowns, 360 yards, an absolute shootout. 68 yards on the ground with a touchdown for Perriman. Love to see that. Receiving wise, Wilcox, 104 yards, two touchdowns. Perriman had a touchdown out of the backfield with 44 yards. And Mike Christmas, who's hurt, 65 yards and a touchdown. Let's take a look at the injury report. Mike Christmas, dislocated out of what he's done for the season. We do not like to see that. He is one of our premier receiving threats. That's not a good look. We're taking on the Cowboys. They take down the Commanders, the five-seeded Cowboys. On the other side, the Raiders and the Jaguars. Let's take care of the Cowboys first. Dak is gone. It's a new era in Dallas. Can the Bears... Take down the Cowboys. Let's find out. Dallas strikes first. My goodness. Their offense is moving. Our defense can't stop them at all. Our offense has to get some points on the board. There we go, Caleb. Our defense has to get a stop. We can't stop them at all. We legitimately cannot stop the Cowboys. A pick six or something, bro. What the fuck just happened? What are we doing? We actually can't. We are... We are incapable. I don't think we've stopped the Cowboys once. They're running all over us. Oh, my God. Our chance to go back-to-back -back ends in the conference, in the conference championship. Oh, my God. The Cowboys... Blitz us. Holy shit. How do we play? Caleb had three. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do we lose this game? 
Caleb had two picks. Oh, my God. That'll do it. Really didn't run the ball too well either. We didn't run the ball well at all. Yeah, wow. Offensively, just very limited. I mean, Caleb had two picks at the worst possible time. <sighs> Chance to go back-to-back -back is disrupted, but all is not lost. Caleb is still only, like, 31. We got a good probably seven, eight years left. Yeah, I mean, listen, disappointing way to end the season for sure, but... Listen, when a conference championship is a disappointment, that's how you know you're in a good spot. Taking a look at the recap, obviously, Caleb wins MVP. Damn, the Raiders. Okay, so the Raiders win the championship. Taking a look at the retirements, Derek Stingley, Justin Herbert. Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look at the roster going into what I believe is year 12. This is the last year on Caleb's contract. So this could be interesting going into the offseason. We get another tight end with Hidden Dev and Garland. We lose our right tackle. We have a Hidden Dev center, though. So things are looking different, but they're not looking bad. We have Christmas back. Bass is still a star dev. Harriman is here. Lawton. A hidden dev running back who's hurt. So we drafted really, really well. Defensively, uh, Williams, Daniels, Howard. Things are the same. We bring in Chase Young, who's somehow still on 79 or an 89, excuse me. We have a hidden dev corner. So we have a pretty good team again. Caleb Williams is down to a, a 98. He's starting to regress. No. Taking a look at his contract, he's on the final year of his deal, 54 million. So after this year. He's free to go wherever. And I'm not going to, if he doesn't want to resign, we're going with him. So I don't want him to leave, but we're going to have to win a Super Bowl if we want to keep him around, for sure. Let's see if the Bears are going to be in, back in the playoffs. The NFL standings, how do we do? The Bears, 11-6, and six, the best team in the NFC. Wow. Okay, let's take a look at the bracket. We're going to have the bye. Nobody else in our division made the playoffs. Okay, that's interesting. Does that mean maybe Caleb won another MVP? Let's take a look at our schedule. How do we do? Obviously 11-6, and six, but I want to see how that 11-6 and six played out. Wow, we actually lost three of our first. We lost one, two, three, four, five of our first. One, two, three, four. We were four and five. And then we won seven of our last eight games. What a, what a way to end this season. Again, same problem seems to be if we can't score, we can't win. 10 points and a loss, 10 points and a loss. Okay, 34 points and a loss. That's fucking brutal. 20 points, 20 points, and then 14. So, I mean, yeah, if we're not scoring, we're not winning. We're not winning any ugly games. That seems to be our problem throughout this entire thing. Take a look at the stats in awards. How do we do? Sixth in offense, fifth in passing, number one in passing touchdowns. Love to see that. 38 touchdowns to one interception. Bro, what a season from Caleb Williams. My goodness. Almost another 500 on the ground with a touchdown. Harriman. 13 touchdowns on the ground. Holy shit. Receiving wise, Wilcox has taken over the number one spot. Obviously, Peterson is there in there. Peterson is now taking over completely for Cole Komet. Seven touchdowns to Bass and four to Christmas. He's really falling out of the rotation. That's brutal. But 15 touchdowns to Sheldon Wilcox. Only a it's only his third season. So maybe he found his new guy. Let's see if we had any yearly awards. Caleb Williams wins his third MVP. Oh my god. Caleb Williams wins back-to-back -back MVPs. Hopefully, this time we can win a Super Bowl. So let's see who we play next week. We're going to be taking on the Falcons. Not the first time we played them. Get into it. Here we go, boys. I don't even know who the Falcons quarterback is, but it's Caleb Williams versus the Falcons. A chance in the NFC Championship game. We need it, boys. Defense, huge stop. Offense got to keep humming. We strike first. Love to see that. Falcons are not going to be denied, though. We strike back. Playing okay. Again, we were only 11-6 and six as the one seed, so it's not like we were significantly better than most of these teams. So I don't expect us to dominate every game. Only up seven. Here we go. We're going to hop into this one. Here we go. We just need a field goal. We're either going to be in quarters or cover two. How do you not have... Bad ball by me, but... Anyone cover three there, actually? Oh, I know my read already. Go! Oh, you got a hole. Oh my god. We're gonna punt them the ball back. 24 seconds. We're gonna take this to overtime. I don't want to take a sack and get a safety. Get out of there! Perriman! No way! A 93 yard touchdown! The Bears are going to the NFC Championship game! Oh my goodness! I actually cannot believe that I just did that. Denzel Perriman just put the team on his back. Caleb Williams, three touchdowns and an interception. Only less than 200 yards. A lot of Falcons defense everywhere. Keaton played okay for the Falcons in his only his rookie season or his second year. Wow. Perriman, 12 rushes, 133 yards with a touchdown. Most of those came on that last rush. Peterson, 102 yards with a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. P Kyle Pitts is still plugging. Wilcox, oh, my goodness. What a game. What a way to end that game. Next up. 
We have the Eagles, the two-seeded Eagles, took down the Cardinals and then the Giants. I don't think we've played them yet. This should be a good one. Here we go. The, wow, we're going for it a lot on fourth down. Coach is ballsy. Haven't scored at all in the first half. The Eagles only have a field goal. This is a very defensive game. Six to three, an ugly game. We're going to take control of this drive. Third down. Excuse me. We're in the red zone. We're going to see if we can put a touchdown up. All right, here we go. Caleb just misses him. Here we go. Oh, I like the motion. Hold on to it. Nice job. This has been a super ugly game, but if we can get a touchdown here, that would be huge. Upfield. And just like that, the Bears take a four-point lead. Defense need to stop. The Eagles, they're going to march in and score. Yep. Down two, we just need a field goal. If they're just going to keep giving me check downs, I'm going to hit them. I only need a field goal. Give me the first. Oh, my God. We're taking some hits across the middle, but our receivers are playing well. There we go. The Eagles call their first time out. We're already in field goal range. We're a couple first downs away from essentially kicking a game-winning field goal. It's okay. Second and six. Let's see if we can hit them with a pass. Yeah, across the middle. They're just going to leave these. Let's see if we can hit them with a play action here. That I don't think they're ready for it. I probably could have ran that for more. But, oh, spin move! What a throw and run. I'm going to milk this clock all the way down. I got all three timeouts. This is, this is literally an 18-yard field goal. This is an extra point at this point. So as long as I don't turn the ball over, I'm going to be okay. Caleb Williams walked it in. 200, almost, literally almost identical, identical stats, but Caleb was not slinging the ball around. Running the ball, kind of a slugfest. Williams had 34 and a touchdown. Perriman had 35. Receiving wise, wow, Antoine Bass. Oscar Peterson, he, I mean, the Cole Komet replacement has been fantastic. And we're one win away from another Super Bowl. I can't imagine, this is Caleb Williams' final year on his contract. I can't imagine he's gone, especially if we win a Super Bowl. Caleb Williams has won three MVPs, bro. We'll just... Xbox yapping about. MVP. I won coach. No, nope, I guess I didn't win coach of the year. Offensive player of the year. Best QB. I mean, come on. The dude's the best player in football. We're taking on the Bills. Whew. Let's see who they took down on their way here. Wow. They're the four seed. They barely beat the Chargers, smoked the Dolphins, and then took down the Titans. This is going to be a hell of a game. Keon Coleman is they have three superstar X Factors. Keon Coleman still in Buffalo. I wonder who the new quarterback is because I can't imagine it's Josh Allen. Josh Allen has to be like 40 at Pippi. He could be 40. He could be Tom Brady. Can the Bears win another Super Bowl? Or will the Bills finally get one? Again, another slugfest. 3-0. We're almost at half. 5-0. Let's go. Defense. 8-5. to five. What a weird game. 8-5 to five in the fourth quarter. This has been a defensive game. It's time for Caleb Williams in the offense to take over. Need it first. We just need a field goal right now. That's all we're looking for. We're in Tampa, but we're going to go down and score. Defensively, we couldn't stop. Two minutes to go. A field goal sends the game to overtime. A touchdown wins it. Inside release. Great catch by Bass. Holy shit. Hold on to it. Oh my God. I didn't see it till too late. We only need a field goal, and we can send this game to overtime if we really want to. Across the middle, across the field, truck him out of the way! The Bears are in the red zone! This is the Caleb Williams career simulation, boys. This is the Caleb Williams career simulation! We gotta get a stop. Eight seconds, we need to get in field goal range. No! I got blitzed! I pretty much have to get to... Dude, what the fuck are they doing? How did they just do that twice? This is a four-man rush. I didn't kill enough clock. Dude, what is happening on the right side of that line? No, stay on your feet. Oh, my God. We've been to, like, two or three Super Bowls, and we've lost two of them. Oh, my God. Caleb, 
That was a dot. That wasn't even Caleb's fault. That was just, oh my God, another loss. We've been to three Super Bowls, we've lost two of them, bro. Just couldn't get it up field far enough. That is so fucking brutal, bro. That's such a sad way to go out. Let's take a look at the roster. Caleb Williams, down to a 97, still fine. Perriman's up to a superstar. We have two different hidden dev linemen in Woods and Newman. The offensive line is great. We have Bass, Wilcox, we have Christmas, who's up to an 84. Peterson is superstar X Factor. Garland is a star tight end. Oh my goodness. Garland's a receiver. I don't even know what he is. Arvins is a 92 overall. Let's take a look at Caleb Williams. He must have re-signed on a pretty hefty contract. Oh no. Caleb Williams took a one-year deal for almost 70 million. So he could be gone next year too. This is interesting. Defensively, kind of weak. We do have Daniels and Williams. Howard at strong safety. Our corners are pitiful, but we have a good, essentially, front seven. Yeah, our secondary is, is pretty fucking brutal, if we're being honest. In Caleb Williams, it could be his final season. See how he does. Caleb Williams led the league in passing yards again, 33 touchdowns. Wilcox was third in the league in receiving yards. We went 11 and six, won the division, but our third, 13. Okay, so let's take a look at the playoff bracket. We're the third seed taking on the Vikings. Okay, let's take a look at the schedule. Just wanted to see how we played this season. Wow, we actually started the season off 0-3 and, and then won, what is that, six straight games? That is a brutal loss. 30 points in a loss is brutal. Six points, absolute slugfest, lost that one. Panthers, these two are fine. This is a kind of a concerning loss, but this is a really big win. We'd love to see a 14-6 win. That's a tough loss. Yeah, pretty much our same, the, the recipe has been the same thing. If we score 20 points, we win games. So that's the, that's the, the barometer for us. If we can score three touchdowns, we win. Let's take a look at the stats and awards. Caleb Williams, another second in offensive yards, first in passing yards, first in passing touchdowns, 4,300 yards, 33 touchdowns, five interceptions. I mean, come on. Perriman had almost 1,000 or almost 800 yards with six touchdowns. Lawton had almost 400 yards with six touchdowns. Pruitt had a touchdown. Garland had a touchdown. We also had Caleb Williams with 300 yards, three touchdowns. 1,200 yards for Sheldon Wilcox and nine touchdowns. Oscar Peterson, the tight end, had almost 1,000 yards with 10 touchdowns. Bass had eight touchdowns. Christmas had almost 900 yards, five touchdowns. We spread the ball around. Take a look at the in-season awards. There's no way he won MVP again, right? He won MVP again. I believe that's three straight MVPs for Caleb Williams. And obviously, Offensive Player of the Year, best QB. So Caleb Williams, the only thing, I mean, he has a Super Bowl ring, but playoff shortcomings have been a theme for him. And this season, we brought in a new offensive coordinator in Justin King. That's interesting. Haven't seen that yet. Got to take on the Vikings. Let's see this. Tie game in the first quarter. The Vikings are not going away. They are not going away. There's a reason they only lost one more game than we did. This could be this could be a game that comes down to the wire. Pull the way. Oh, they're right back in it. We can get a touchdown here. We can probably put it away. This is the Caleb Williams career simulation, folks. We're going to launch this ball around. Oh, no. Got it. Touchdown. Let's go! And the Bears are going to take down the Vikings in advance to the NFC Divisional Round. 34 to 22. Just like that, baby. One step closer to a Super Bowl. Okay, let's take a look at Caleb Williams' stats. 324 with four touchdowns. Yeah, J.J. McCarthy. That's how you win a game, big dog. How we do we run? 75 yards for Lawton with a touchdown. And then receiving-wise, 152 for Sheldon Wilcox. Three touchdowns. Bass had 76 and a touchdown. Christmas had 75. Listen, man. We're balling right now. Taking on the Seahawks. Let's take a look at the bracket here. Seahawks are the five seed. Okay, we like to see that. They actually upset Kellen 44 to 38. Okay, that's actually a, a shootout of a game. Holy. I don't know who the Seahawks quarterback is. McAllister, that's got to be some auto-generated guy. But Caleb Williams, he's not scared of McAllister. Got to get a stop, though. Defensively, we're playing great so far this postseason. So we just got to keep it up. Start off up 7-0. There we go, 14. Seattle also won 11 games, so this isn't going to be an easy game. By any stretch. 21 to 7. Seattle's gonna come right back. And they might tie this game right here. We're up by four. Can we kill the clock and give the Bears a Super Bowl? Let's find out. This isn't even the Super Bowl game. See you. Oh my god, double spin move! I'm so used to playing college football. That was actually nasty. Gonna try to take this down to the two-minute warning on this play if we can. Get upfield. Oh. As much as this is the Caleb Williams career simulation, we want to win some games. Perriman, punch this across the line for me, big fella. Dude, I couldn't. There's two people guarding that guy, and he can't. That's crazy. I tried to cut it back, and it didn't even matter. They're bringing a big blitz off that left side, I can tell. Shout out to Omaha. Doesn't matter. I'm, a t I'm running to the right. Dude! Our offensive line just got bullied on two straight plays. I couldn't get a yard. Damar Hamlin's kicking this ball off. That's funny. It's actually not that funny. It's kind of fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm going to pop him with the center, bro. Defense, we need to stop. You know, when it matters most, our defense, they just don't exist. So we have three timeouts and a field goal ties the game. All we need is a field goal. 
Get a field. Get a field. Gotta go get it. Oh, he missed it! Get a field! Run! Run! Let's go! Please, defense. And the Bears are gonna go to the NFC Championship game! Oh my god. The safety missed. He pulled a Marshawn Lattimore. Caleb Williams, 277, 88% completion percentage. My goodness, two touchdowns. Ran the ball okay, 35 from Caleb Williams with a touchdown, 36 from Evan Perriman. Receiving wise, Mike Christmas with 96 and a touchdown. Needed it. Oscar Peterson, 76 and a touchdown. Antoine Bass, 25. Wilcox with 73, my goodness. One game away from going to the Super Bowl. Who will we play? We have an injury. We don't like to see that. Javonta Daniels, bro, he's done for the season. Don't like to see that. Our defense is already thin as it is. Who will we be taking on in the NFC Championship game? It's going to be the Niners. The one-seeded Niners just sneak by the seven-seeded Rams, which means we have to go on the road for this one. This is not going to be an easy game. They're the one seed for a reason. They're the best team in football. Brock Purdy still there. Superstar X Factor. This is not going to be an easy game, boys. We got to win one more. The Niners are marching. The Bears, our offense has done nothing as of yet. This isn't a good sign. We haven't been able to do anything on offense. We managed to... Wow, the Niners just... We can't do anything. We're getting absolutely mollywhopped right now. Oh my God. Cut it to 11, but... And the Bears, our offense got shut down. Oh my God. Another postseason flame out. Caleb Williams with four MVPs and a Super Bowl. Only had two touchdowns, 306 yards. Ran the ball. I mean, neither team really ran the ball that well, but damn. That's unfortunate, man. That was Caleb Williams. He signed a one-year deal to stay with Chicago. I wonder if that means Caleb Williams is going to retire. He did get a Super Bowl. He won four MVPs. I can't help but feel like that's disappointing. I don't know why. A new injury. Let's see who got hurt. Wow, we actually got a Sheldon Wilcox, Anthony Richards. Damn, that's actually tough. We fall short in the NFC Championship game one more time. That is brutal, boys. That's brutal. Let's take a look at retirements. The Aviate... Who the fuck are the Aviators? Wait, what? Who is this? The Browns? They relocated to fucking Paris? And they're in the AFC North? Is there any other relocations? I've never seen that in a sim. The whoa! Who the fuck are the Golden Eagles? The Buccaneers? Relocated to Buenos Aires? What the fuck is happening in this timeline? Dude, who is SLC? There's more teams that got relocated. Wait, dude. What the fuck? fuck is happening in the NFL? This is insane. Let's take a look at the roster. <gasps> Caleb Williams didn't sign, resign. Where is Caleb Williams? Caleb Williams signed with the fucking Broncos? He signed a one-year deal with the Broncos. Oh my God. He left the Bears high and dry. He was sick of losing. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So the Aviators are the Browns, the Dragons are the Cardinals, the Mounties are the Washington Commanders. What the Fuck is happening? All right, so we managed to switch to the Broncos. Let's take a look at this team. <sighs> Head coach Adam Rogers. Wow, Caleb Williams really left the Bears. That's actually insane. I did not expect that. But this team, this team is fucking loaded. Holy shit, dude. The entire offensive line is at least an 80. We have a superstar at right tackle. Everything else is at least star. And Jones is normal, he's an 82. A superstar X-Factor tight end in Weston. Two superstars in Weaver and Peyton. A superstar X-Factor in Caleb Williams. Spence, a star. Wow. This team is, especially on offense, is fucking loaded. Defensively, wow. Everybody on defense is a, an 80 or, or higher, except for Anderson. But there's a hidden dev back here in Phillips. And another one in Billingsley. Special teams wise, I mean, they even have an 85 kicker, bro. What? This team is loaded. How the fuck do they have the cap space to sign Williams to like a $90 million deal? Not 90, it was like 60. But he's only here for one year. Wow, he has thrown for almost 4,000, almost 4,000 yards for like the last 10 years. That's actually crazy. Now that he left, I mean, shit, let's see how he does in the AFC. So if we take a look at this, we go 14 and 3. The Broncos are probably the best team in football. But if we look at the leaders in passing, Look who's number one. Orchard from the Bears. 4,400 yards, 34 touchdowns. Wow. So let's take a look at the bracket. Obviously, I think we're the one seed in the AFC. We are, but look who's in the playoffs as the seven seed. I don't know who the fuck this is. I think this is supposed to be the Washington Commanders, but I don't know why they're... We're in, the, we're in 2036, man. Shit's just, just, just happening. Wow, we were a top 10 team in everything. Every offensive and defensive category, we were top 10. That is unreal. So let's take a look at the stats. We're the number one team in offense, second in passing yards. I mean, come on. Caleb Williams, 4,300 yards, 28 touchdowns. The least amount of touchdowns he's had in a while, but only one pick. And that's because we ran the ball for so much. Jason Payton, 1,000 yards with 15 touchdowns on the ground. We had a fullback with two touchdowns, five touchdowns for Dre Knighton. Caleb Williams had four yards, or excuse me, four touchdowns on the ground. Receiving-wise, 
wow, we spread the ball out a lot. 800 yards to Weaver with seven touchdowns. 800 yards to Spence with seven touchdowns. Our tight end was 600 yards and four touchdowns. Other wide receivers three and four, 500 yards and five touchdowns apiece. Tight end two had almost 400 yards. Our running back had almost 300 yards. Tight end three had almost 150 yards. Bro, you want to talk about an offense where everybody gets fed? Holy shit. In-season awards, did we have an MVP? We did not. Caleb Williams is second for MVP. What about AFC offensive play? Wins offensive player of the year. Okay, so wow. So Caleb Williams, four MVPs, you know, probably four or five offensive player of the years. Can he win another Super Bowl? 14 and three, we're gonna be taking on the seven seeded Aviators. They take on the Jets seven to two. This Aviators, if I'm not mistaken, are the Browns. So this is supposed to be the Browns. So this is gonna be interesting to take on a team like this. I've never played a team like this before, so we'll see how they do. Aviators helmets are pretty sick. I, it is weird to see him in a Broncos uniform. Oh my God, I don't like it at all. Defensively, we're playing. Okay. Okay, offensively, we got to get going. Wow, the, the Aviators, they came to play today. They're giving us everything we can handle right now. Oh my God. Our first look at Caleb Williams in a Broncos uniform. Let's see how it looks. Looks fucking weird, I will be honest. We just need a couple inches here. That is a lot. A couple inches is a lot. We're going to put the hands, or the ball in the hands of Peyton, our superstar running back. Got to ground the ball out. A touchdown, he gives us a four-point lead. Caleb Williams is so fast. Oh my God. Wearing number 18, the last person to wear that, if I'm not mistaken, Peyton Manning. He's a lot faster than Peyton Manning, I'll tell you that much. We have the ball back just over two minutes to go. We're trying to kill the clock right now. Great ball, Caleb. Oh my God, injury timeout, bro, fake it. Gotta stay in bounds. Do not want to go out of bounds here. If you could stay out, big dog, we're going to win this game without you. No offense. They'll never expect the play action. Why? Because it's stupid. But it's only stupid if it doesn't work. Just need to kill this clock right now, boys. Peyton, punch us in. Stay on your feet, Peyton! And folks, that might have done it. Also, complaint. I don't understand how in this game, I can do that right there. I can take that knee and it doesn't simulate to the end. You know what it does in college football? I don't have to sit here and wait for fucking uh, two minutes and just waste my time. How is this in college football, but not in Madden? Insane to me. Why did we just call a timeout? Why did we just call a timeout? Dude. <sighs> if we lose this fucking game, thank you. All right, we get some extra points and we're going to the AFC championship game. The Aviators gave us a lot. They gave us all we can handle. But Caleb Williams, man, he has been nothing short of spectacular. 28 for 36, three touchdowns. Had another 30 yards on the ground with a touchdown. Peyton had 50 yards. Love to see that. Receiving-wise, 126 yards for Weston, 93 yards for Weaver, 31 and a touchdown for Spence, 116 and a touchdown for Cartwright. Chris Barton had 12. Barkley had a receiving, a reception. Love to see it. Two more games away from a Super Bowl. Maybe we can get one of the Broncos uniform. Listen, you know, it's not a Bears uniform, but still orange, so. Taking on the Texans in the AFC Championship game. The Texans were the three seed. They take on the Chargers and then the Bills. Here we go, boys. CJ Stroud is still the quarterback in Houston. He's been there his entire career. Stroud versus Williams. This is going to be a tough game. Defensively, we got to get a stop here. They get a field goal. That's fine. Oh, we don't like that. 10 nothing early for the Texans. We got to get a got to get a drive here, Caleb. There we go. Finally take the lead. Houston Oh, we can get some more points out of this. That'd be hard. We're pouring it on here, folks. The Broncos have found their form. And they're running it up on Houston. They're going to put 50 on them. 49 to 24. They double up Houston and advance to the Super Bowl in Caleb Williams' first year in Denver. Love to see that. Let's take a look at the stats. We didn't have in this game at all. We didn't need to. Caleb Williams, six touchdowns. Didn't have a pick, but oh my goodness. 37 for 48. Six touchdowns, almost 500 yards. Had 58 on the ground. Caleb Williams had 40 and a touchdown. Receiving wise, 121 for Weston. 99 and three touchdowns for Cartwright. 90 and a touchdown for Peyton. 87 for Deshaun Weaver. 45 for DeMar Spence. And 6'6", Chris Barton had a touchdown and two receptions. Caleb Williams is slinging the rock. Taking a look at the playoff bracket. We're taking on... I don't know who this is. I think this is the... Who is this? The Commanders? I don't know who this is, man. This is the Salt Lake City Mounties. If you think we're going to lose to a bunch of soaking nerds, you're out of your goddamn mind. Also, their quarterback, if I'm not mistaken, is Trevor Lawrence, and he's the perfect soaker. I don't know why, but he gives me soaker vibes. This has been a slugfest so far. We're gonna start off the game with a touchdown, though. That's huge. Here they come right back, but here comes Caleb. Oh, we went for it on fourth down. Okay, we got a field goal. Never mind. Our coaches, they love to go for it on fourth down. They're ballsy as shit. Oh my god, a touchdown here would probably seal the game. Nope. Oh my goodness, are we gonna are we gonna smoke the Salt Lake City soakers? And the Broncos in Caleb Williams. 
first year win a Super Bowl. Now, Caleb Williams only signed a one-year deal here, so he could go somewhere else. Let's see how he played. I mean, not really an offensive explosion. Yeah, 250 with two touchdowns. Played fine. 44 yards, 53 yards on the ground. I mean, receiving-wise, does anybody have a great... Yeah, Weaver, 140 with a touchdown. Holy smokes. Weston, 59 and a touchdown. Yeah, I mean, he leaned on these two. Just played a great game, especially on defense. We locked up the Mounties. So that begs the question, will Caleb Williams retire on top? Two touchdowns, or excuse me, two Super Bowls or MVPs. That's a hell of a career for Caleb Williams. Let's take a look at retirements. I mean, I don't think he'd retire, but no, but guys from his class are. So we're getting to the point where Caleb Williams might retire soon. But at the end of the day, he might not even come back to Denver. Let's see. Take a look at the Broncos roster, led by Caleb Caleb Williams, he's a 94 overall. He is really starting to regress. We take a look at his stats. I want to see his contract. He's going to his 14th season. He signed another one-year deal just for 60 million, just for 60 million. So theoretically, he could leave after this year too. Really holding the Broncos by the balls. The offensive line is significantly worse. Peyton has regressed a significant amount. We do have two stud tight ends. A receiving core is okay. We do have a hidden depth offensive lineman here. We like to see that. Defensively, we have a hidden depth safety as well, or corner, however you want to phrase it. Our defense is a little worse, but we should be fine. Caleb Williams going into his 14th season. Can he go back to back for Super Bowls? Let's find out. Taking a look at the season leaders, Caleb Williams looks like he's second in passing yards and second in touchdowns. The Broncos go 12 in five and with a number one seed in the AFC. Love to see that. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket here. Looks like there's another fucking expansion team out here, bro. Who the hell are the sevens? Who are the antelopes? This is getting too much to keep up with. <laughs> This is too much. Let's take a look at the schedule. We regress a little bit, but we'll be fine. We lose to the Texans by three. They get revenge. That's a tough game to lose. We score 30 points, though. So that is a tough... That's a game to keep an eye on. But even so, we, we win a game 17 to 13, so that's an ugly game. Lost this one 14 to 28. Yeah, I mean, that's... It's a little concerning. We just... Sometimes when we can't score, we can't win. Can't rely on our defense as much as I'd like to. But let's take a look at Caleb Williams' stats this season. It's third in offensive yards, second in passing yards. So, I mean, he's playing fantastic. 4,500 yards, 37 touchdowns, three interceptions. I mean, come on, dude. 800 yards on the ground, 400 for Caleb Williams, another 200 for this guy. Receiving-wise, 1,200 for Jelani Weston with eight touchdowns, 1,000, almost 1,100 yards for Marcus Carwright with seven touchdowns, 900 yards, 11 touchdowns. I mean, we spread the wealth. Our backup tight end had less than 200 receiving yards, and he had 16 receptions. Six of those were touchdowns. I mean, we... Caleb is a slinger. Did he win the MVP? Let's find out. You're damn right he did. That's his fifth MVP. Five MVPs, two Super Bowls. He's been to... I think four Super Bowls and won two of them. So he's got a pretty good record. Hoping to add number three to that. Take a look at the bracket. We're going to be taking on the Jaguars. Okay, so they take down the te te they take down the Titans 35-10. to 10. All right, let's see what we can do. I don't even know who their quarterback would be at this point because it's obviously not Trevor Lawrence. It doesn't say who it is. So we're going to be... They're, take, they're actually a better team than us. Eight overall. This will be interesting. Wow, I think we threw a pick. Holy shit. Caleb, we need to... You need to start off a little better than that, big fella. Huge field goal. Nice job. This is an absolute slugfest. No points being scored in this game. Offensively, haven't really done much at all, and the Jaguars are marching. Oh, my goodness. Just like that, we tied the game going into the fourth, but the Jaguars are not going to be denied. Down seven, just, just under three minutes to go. We got to get some points on the board, boys. That was, that could have been the, that was like, I don't even know why I threw that ball. There was no reason for me to throw that ball. Like, legitimately none. I just... That was another risky ball. Okay, I'm getting dangerous with these balls. Get up field. All I want to do is get a first down there. Caleb Williams in this game has doesn't even have a touchdown. He's got a pick in less than 300 yards. Wow. Our defense has been on the field a lot, and we've been leading on our run game. I mean, just take my check down. That's fine. Wow, we got blasted. Holy shit. This is the Caleb Williams career sim, boys. I'm not trying to sit here and run this ball a lot. I'm not going to lie. That, I threw that into literally a tire. And that ball got there. Wow. Touchdown. Let's go, Caleb! Now, can we get a defensive stop here? We're in overtime. Defense got to stop. We're in overtime. I don't know if they got to stop or what, but... Dude, the game is trying to give me this. I am trying to give this game away. Holy shit. Get up field. Get out of there. Get out of there! Get out of there! I don't know if he has the speed. He's got the speed! And the Denver Broncos! I believe that's the AFC Championship. We're going to the AFC Championship, boys. 
Holy shit, what an overtime thriller. 24 for 35, 332, two touchdowns. 42 yards on the ground for Caleb Williams. Eight for Jason Payton, but damn it, he had a touchdown. Receiving wide, 65 for Weaver. 74 for Marcus Cartwright. Jelani Weston, 125 with two touchdowns. And the game winner. Wow. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. We're actually taking on the Steelers. Steelers, the two-seeded Steelers, they take on the Texans and then the Aviators. Here we go, boys. I don't know who the Steelers quarterback could be. They're 12 and five. Uh, yeah, I don't even know who their, their quarterback could be. They have an elite defense. Their top three players are all on the defense, especially the defensive line this is going to be a major test for the broncos and caleb williams one minute away from heading back to the super bowl the steelers are marching though Oh my goodness, they're putting on a clinic right now. We can't do anything against this team. We gotta get some points on this board. We got three points in the first half. Oh my goodness, we can't do anything. This defense is lighting us up. Down two touchdowns with just under two, three minutes to go. We have to score quick and we have to score without using timeouts. You got to hold on to that ball. Jelani Weston. Get up field. Get up field. There we go. Huge. I have to score without using a timeout. I didn't think he was going to animate to go get that ball. Holy shit, dude. My toes are curled. They're in one high. They're trying to give me the sideline. Dude, I am trying to attack over the middle. I just can't get anything to go right now. They're bringing a blitz. I can see it. Game. Our only hope is to score. We're on the one fucking yard line, dude. Oh my God. Our only hope is to score a 99 yard touchdown and then pray that we can get the onside kick. Gotta go, 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 gotta go. Dude, I didn't even mean to flip the fucking play. I tried to get a block, bro. I don't even time out stuff. I just, come on, spike the ball, spike the ball, spike the ball. Oh my God, wait, what the fuck? Oh my God, dude. Yeah, that's ball game, it doesn't even matter. Oh, we got hurt. Okay, well that's not good, but that's good. Dude, that is such a sad way to go out, bro. I played that game so fucking stupidly. That one's on me. No touchdowns for Caleb Williams. God damn, their defense was everywhere. I said their defense was a problem, man. Caleb has five MVPs, two Super Bowls. It's not disappointing because winning a Super Bowl is fucking tough, dude. But damn, I can't help but think that we should have more. Caleb Williams is a free agent, man. He can go wherever he wants at this point. He can go back to Denver. He could sign a one-year deal somewhere else. He could retire. Who knows? Take a look at the retirements. Did not retire, so we're back for another season. Let's take a look at the roster. Denver Broncos roster led by... K That's not Caleb Williams. Whoa, this is a different team. Where the fuck is Caleb Williams? Oh my god, he left again! Where did he go? Why is Caleb Williams turning into LeBron James, bro? Why is he team hopping? Antlers, bro. Caleb Williams is the Dolphins quarterback. Bro, what the fuck is this? Down to a 92 overall. Oh my god, he's really falling off. Not really falling off, but kind of one year deal, bro. This dude is about to be on 15 different teams in his career, isn't he? All right. To the Dolphins we go. Let's take a look at this Dolphins roster. Stay in the AFC. This roster is definitely interesting. Offensive line is okay. You have two hidden dev linemen in King and Daniels. Other than that, your offensive line's pretty fine. Tight end star, Willie Brewer. Receivers, you're kind of mid outside of superstar Ross. Manning and Samuel are normal dead, but they're good players. You also have Davis, who's a fine star. You have two different star quarterbacks behind Caleb Williams. I don't really know why you make this signing. Defensively, yeah, you're kind of mid. You have you have Rice, you have Jackson, who's a CB3. You have some good corners. Other than that, D tackles are fine. Linebackers are okay. Damn, this is an interesting team, to say the least. Caleb Williams' first season in Miami. Let's see how it goes. I don't see Caleb Williams on any of the top things. Let's take a look at our team. We made the wild card. We're 10 and 7, taking on the, the fucking who? Albuquerque Commodore, bro, who? Who even is that? No, this is the Condors. So this is the Colts. So the fucking AFC South, the Colts relocated from Indianapolis to Albuquerque. Oh my God, bro, what the fuck? Let's take a look at the stats schedule. We went 10 and seven, so we were, we're a good team. Obviously made the playoffs, but nothing special. Yeah, same story as always. If we can't score, we can't win. And I know that's simple, but like this game against the Chiefs, we love to see that. Game against the Dolphins, not so much. That game, not so much. Wow, we went on a massive losing streak. We went on a major win streak in the season. Six straight games, and we love to see that. Let's take a look at Caleb's stats this season. Fifth in offense, fourth in passing touchdowns, 4,100 yards. I mean, come on. Dude's a monster. I don't think we won MVP or we were even close. Yeah, but maybe offensive player of the year? No, third though. Okay. Let's take a look at his stats. 4,100 yards, 27 touchdowns, six picks. Definitely a down year for sure. 
and we didn't run the ball at all. Caleb Williams was our leading rusher. Oh my God. I mean, we had what, 21 rushing touchdowns between our guys, but that's why we weren't winning. We couldn't run the ball. Thousand yards for West Brewer, seven touchdowns for him, Richardson and Manny Ross. Four touchdowns from Xavier Anderson, a wide receiver one. I mean, the team is good, but the team is mid, I guess. The Albuquerque Condors, I'm really interested to see what this stadium looks like. Obviously, I haven't played in this stadium before. In the wild card, Caleb Williams got to get a stop here defensively and not able to do it. We're holding strong, but our offense needs to do something, and we're not doing nothing. There we go. 7-3. Albuquerque strikes right back. Tied at half. We like to see that. But they're going to score here in the fourth quarter. Let's get something going here. They're in zone, obviously, based on this look. Oh! Oh! Stay on your feet! I don't even know who this is. I'm throwing to randoms at this point. Touchdown. Just like that, the Miami Dolphins tie the game. Down three, we just need a field goal. Touchdown wins the game. Yeah, that is a very risky ball on me, I'll be honest. I don't think I've thrown a slip screen in my, like, 14 years playing this rebuild or this simulation, so let's try it. Great. Wow, that lineman absolutely flattened that DB. Holy smokes. Do I still have the speed to outrun linebackers? I do. They have a spy on Caleb. I just noticed that. Oh my god, what a spin move. Let's go, Caleb! We take a four-point lead late in the fourth. We gotta get a stop, or our defense can't- Oh my god, we did get the stop. Holy shit, we hold on to sneak by Albuquerque. Oh my goodness. Caleb Williams, 274 with three touchdowns. Holy shit. Did not run the ball well at all. Receiving-wise, 82 from Manny Ross with two touchdowns. Henry Richardson, 60 with a touchdown. Really spreading the ball around. Hey. You're in the playoffs, man. Anything can happen. Taking on the Buffalo Bills. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. The one seed. We were the seven seed? We just snuck into the playoffs. I didn't even realize that. So we took down the two seed. So if we take down these guys, hey, man, we can beat anybody. Enemy strikes first. Here we go. But defense forces a field goal, but damn it, our offense isn't doing enough. Got to get some points here. At least got to tie this game going. Oh, we take the lead. Going into half. Down by three. Can we take the lead? Oh, we tie it. Okay. Yeah, our defense. There we go. Oh. God, our defense is not playing well. We gotta tie this game here. Great job, Caleb. Nice throw to our tight end. I look for our tight ends a lot. Down by a touchdown. This is the Caleb Williams career simulation, boys. We know how this goes. We're not sitting here trying to run this damn ball. I'm trying to sling the fucking rock. Such a risky ball. Holy shit. Touchdown. Tie the game. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Defense, can we get a stop? Nope. We can't stop anything right now. Down three. No timeouts. So if field goal ties the game. They're in. I th if I have time, I know where the route ball goes. What a ball by Caleb. Get out of there. Fourth race. Let's go. We need a Samuel strike right now. Wow, wow that was a terrible block. Holy shit. Touchdown. We take the lead with just under a minute to go. Got to get a stop defense. A first down wins it. Get up out of there. Let's go. One more yard and we can clinch this game. Dude. Oh, they're going to bring some heat. I know it. I see it. Doesn't matter. We got the first. I'm a greedy little fuck. I want to score more points. Fuck the Bills. Let's go! The Dolphins are gonna go to the AFC Championship. We take down the two and the one seed. Caleb Williams, four touchdowns on the through the air with almost at 700 yards. 345 yards, four touchdowns for the Bills quarterback, Caleb Williams. 38 yards for Keon Samuel, 12 yards for Caleb Williams and a touchdown. 64 yards and two touchdowns for West Brewer. 175 and a touchdown for Manny Ross. And 60 and a touchdown for Xavier Anderson, the rookie. I'm making a huge impact on this game. We're headed back to the AFC Championship game, boys. Holy shit. If we take Pittsburgh on, I want a rematch. How long is he out for? Artie Parker would be out. He would come back if we made the Super Bowl. 
Billy Meadows off of the season. That is tough. Taking on the Texans. The Houston Texans, the five seed. They took down Pittsburgh and Kansas City. It'll be a tough game, boys. We got to win this one. I wonder if CJ Stroud is still the quarterback in Houston. I don't think he is. That looks like a white guy. That's not CJ Stroud. Got to get some points here if you're in Miami. Defensively, we have not played well this postseason, allowing a lot of points. We've relied heavily on our offense. It's a shootout so far. My goodness. Oh, they take a 10 point lead. That's not good. Going in half, down three, down 10 now. Down three again. Up by four. Down by three. We got to get, we got to get some points out of this drive there we go first down touchdown three-point lead about to be four our offense is humming can we get a stop we cannot what's new oh my god our defense can't stop a fucking nosebleed a field goal ties the game they're in cover one which means yeah oh <sighs> yep i was sitting on the crosser but the little linebacker came down on it. They're in cover two. I know where my read is already. Yep. Oh my God, I got his. I threw. Give me the block. I don't know if I actually did anything with that, but fuck it. Just need a field goal to send this game to overtime. Hit my check down. Excellent ball, Caleb Williams. Oh. First time out. No turnovers. I just need to score to tie this game. Damn, okay, second and inches. Could have passed it. Doesn't matter. We're an extra point away from a four point lead. And the Dolphins are going to the Super Bowl, the seventh seed. Oh my God, Caleb Williams, have yourself a day. 35 for 41, four touchdowns. Did have a pick, but 30 yards on the ground with a touchdown. Samuel had 15 yards in a touchdown. Willie Diggs had a touchdown. 141 in a touchdown for Manny Ross. West Brewer with three touchdowns and 105 yards. I, like I said, man, I look for my tight ends left, right, and center. Holy shit. We are back in the Super Bowl with Caleb Williams. I think we're two and three in the Super Bowl. Or two and two. I don't remember. I know he has two wins and five MVPs. He's had a, a historic career. He's one of the greatest quarterbacks ever. I think mean, he's made the playoffs like every year except for like three years in his entire career, which is, is so impressive. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket. Taking on the Saints. The one-seeded Saints versus the seven-seeded Dolphins. They sneak by the Cowboys and then they blank the Niners. My goodness. This is going to be a tough game. Super Bowl's in Atlanta too. The quarterback is Buckner. I don't know who that is. That's the auto-generated guy for sure. Here we go. They went 14 and three. They're the number one seed in the league for a reason we take a 10 nothing lead our offense is playing well our defense up until then was playing great but 17 7 okay we're up by three my controller batteries are low thank you xbox wow our offense has sputtered and our defense has not been able to hold them this is not a good look yeah they're gonna score a touchdown we lose another super bowl bro oh my god it's always the defense two super bowls caleb williams two touchdowns 300 yards on a dot 25 for 38 ran the ball did not really run the ball well we had a one yard run for a touchdown and then i've met like 26 yards between williams and samuel 70 yards and a touchdown for brewer 85 yards 82 yards and a touchdown for richardson wow so caleb williams two super bowls he's two and four in super bowl appearances or two and three five mvps i don't really know how i feel about his career I, I can't tell if i feel disappointed or if i feel like he's going to the hall of fame like first ballot hall of famer for sure but i just don't know how i feel take a look at retirements i don't anticipate him retiring but yeah no he's not he didn't go anywhere i wonder if he's gonna change teams again <sighs> let's find out Let's take a look at the roster here. Caleb Williams comes back. Our offensive line, significantly better. Our worst players have a 77 overall star. Rubers an 86 X Factor. We have an 80, 94 X Factor receiver. Running backs an 83. Yeah, we got, this offense is fucking loaded. Defensively, question marks, right? We have Booth, who's a hidden dev linebacker. We have some good corners, a good strong safety, free safety, you know, whatever. Our linebackers are Okay. D tackles are fine. Our D this is bad, but our defense is better than last year. I'm surprised Caleb Williams came back, I'll be honest with you, considering they have a star quarterback. But Caleb Williams is already 37, but he's a 90 overall. He is regressing. Let's take a look at this contract. Signs a one year deal for almost $60 million. <sighs> I don't really know how much longer Caleb Williams has, so we got to try to win some more Super Bowls this season. In his, what, 15th, 16th season? Let's see how it goes. If we take a look at the league leaders, Caleb Williams led the league in passing yards. What's even funnier is the last two places on his career in Denver and Chicago, the quarterbacks are still there, and they're two in three. We go eight and nine. We don't even make the playoffs. Our defense, oh my God, we had the 30th ranked rushing attack in the 30th or 31st ranked defense. Oh my God. Eight and nine. We were the 11th seed at eight and nine. Jesus. 
the AFC was brutal. A 10 and seven Kansas City team didn't even make the playoffs. Holy, a nine and eight Jacksonville team didn't make the playoffs. Wow. Uh oh. So we don't even make the playoffs. We had an elite offense. So let's take a look at our schedule. I assume it's more of the same in the sense that if we didn't stop. If we didn't score, yeah, 17 points in a loss, 19 points in a loss, 30 points in a loss. Wow, we got smoked by Tennessee. Wow, we collapsed down the stretch. Six, we lost what? We started the season one, two, three, four, five, five and two, and then we finished three and nine or three and six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three and seven. Oh my God. That's a brutal way to end the season. I want us to take a look at the stats. I, I, obviously, we didn't win MVP, but we were second in offense in first in passing yards. I mean, hey, he still wins offensive player of the year. We won offensive player of the year. Like, 56 times at this point. 4,400 yards, 33 touchdowns, 8 interceptions. A great season from Caleb Williams. 800, almost 800 yards on the ground and 10 touchdowns from Kean Samuel. Caleb Williams, 300 yards, 3 touchdowns. Billy Dix, 120 yards with 4 touchdowns. Receiving wise, Brewer led the team in, in receiving yards, 970 with 5 touchdowns. Xavier Anderson and Spencer Keaton each had 900 yards and 6 touchdowns. Manny Ross, 860 with 9 touchdowns. Love the team in touchdowns. Love to see that. But even so, we had another 7 touchdowns between a bunch of running backs and wide receiver fours and tight ends twos. Like, that is actually a, a disappointing season for Caleb Williams. Not really for Caleb Williams, but for the, the Dolphins. Take a look at retirements. I'm just taking a look at this every year because I don't think Caleb Williams will retire, but you know, who knows? Nope, he does not retire. Way into his year 38 season. All right, let's take a look at the lineup. Caleb Williams in 88 overall. He dropped to a superstar. Folks, we're coming to the end. 16 year career going into year 17. He's 38 years old. Let's take a look at the contract he signed with the Dolphins. I imagine it's just another one year deal. Yep, 57 million. Wow. Yeah, I don't even, I don't know when he's going to retire. This is actually crazy. Crazy. Team is fine. Ross is still there. Anderson is here. Brewer is still here. Our offensive line is fine. We still have Redmond, who is a hidden dev guy. Samuel's better. Defensively, team is a little worse, but we have Johnson, who's a hidden dev safety, and Berman, a hidden dev. And, you know, team's fine. I don't know how we didn't make the playoffs last year, but damn, this stings. I guess Berman is a hidden dev linebacker. My fault. Let's see if this year the Dolphins can get back to the playoffs. Caleb Williams, third in the league in passing yards. Let's take a look at how the season played out. We went 5-12. and 12. Yeah, okay. Uh-oh. I have a feeling Caleb Williams, the magic. We were the worst team in the AFC. I have a feeling Caleb Williams' career is coming to an end. This is a sad day, folks. We're going to take a look at the stats. Seventh in offense, third in passing yards. Caleb Williams hasn't lost a step. 20, oh my God, 10 interceptions. That was the first time he's had double digit interceptions in a while. 4,100 yards, only 25 touchdowns. Not even 600 yards on the ground with 10 touchdowns for Samuel. 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns for Spencer Keaton. Yeah, I don't know. Let's take a look at Caleb Williams' career stats. He's back to a superstar X Factor. So I wonder if he won an MVP? Or offensive player of the year? I don't really understand how he would have done that. But I mean, yeah, the most interceptions in his since his sophomore season, and the least touchdowns since that third year. Wow, wow, is this the downfall? Of Caleb? Not the downfall. Caleb Williams has been a fucking stud. But I can't imagine he won MVP. Yeah, maybe offensive player of the year. Nope. Damn. Caleb Williams, let's see if he retires. I don't anticipate him retiring, but wow, we were not good. Let's take a look at retirements. Caleb Williams doesn't retire, so we're going to get another year of Caleb. I don't know if it'll be Miami or somewhere else, but let's see. Let's take a look at the roster. Caleb Williams back to his superstar X Factor, which is cool, but in 87 overall, he has fallen off. Fallen off is a stretch. He's almost... 40. Oh my goodness. Superstar X Factor, brother. We want Omaha. Where's Omaha? Regardless, Caleb Williams, an 80 something overall. The offensive line is significantly better. We do have a hidden dead halfback as well. Receivers are stud. He's not a superstar X Factor at Ross, but he's still a 96 overall. And then defensively, linebackers are significantly better. 70 overall is our worst player there. Our worst D tackles or D lineman is 70 something with two superstars on defense. The event isn't bad. I don't understand how this isn't a playoff team. And what might be Caleb Williams' final season? Let's see if he can make it back to the playoffs. Make one last Super Bowl push. Uh-oh, I don't think we made the playoffs again. Eight and nine. We're the 10 seed. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at the stats. 18th in offense, but sixth in passing. So Caleb Williams is still uh, that guy. 11 interceptions, 26 touchdowns. Still at 4,000 yards, just not finishing the deal. This is incredible. Kean Samuel, almost 600 yards, five touchdowns. Caleb Williams, almost 400 yards, three touchdowns. The backup running back, Marco Denard, had 100 yards. Manny Ross had 20 yards. Vince Winslow had 19 yards and two touchdowns. On 19 carries, Shamir Wiley had eight yards and six touchdowns. That is ridiculous. Xavier Anderson, almost 1,000 yards, three touchdowns. Manny Ross, 900 yards and six touchdowns. Martin Quick, 800 yards and eight touchdowns. Our receivers are good. I don't understand how this team is so 
fucking bad. It doesn't make any sense to me. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's gotta be the defense, but I don't really understand why the defense is bad. Let's see if Caleb Williams decides to hang it up. I don't think he did. I think Caleb Williams is gonna run it back again. It looks like he is. So Caleb Williams is gonna come back for his, what, 20th season? Oh my goodness, Caleb, brother. Go start a family or something, big dog. Golly. All right, let's take a look at the roster. See if we add any pieces. Caleb Williams falls all the way to star. He's an 82 overall. Oh my God, Caleb Williams, no. Let's see the contract. I assume it's just another one-year deal. Yeah, he's really fallen off in Miami. God, Celtic Shack. One year, 23 million. Guys, this might be it. Offensive line is the best it's ever been. Our tight end is actually bad. Oh my God. Hutchinson and Campbell are the same person. We have a hidden devil left tackle, which is cool. Ross is a stars. And oh my God, this team is old. Defensively, we have a superstar. X-Factor in Pratt. Superstar in Jackson. Our defense is the best it's been this whole video, but our offense is fucking anemic. Let's see if the Dolphins can make one last Super Bowl push, because I think this might be it for Caleb Williams, boys. Caleb Williams was third in the lead in passing yards, 40, just over 4,000 with 27 touchdowns. Did that lead to a playoff berth? The offense is brutal. I don't know what's going on. The league is getting taken over by teams that don't exist. Caleb, man, it might be time to hang it up. 22nd on offense, third in passing yards. We have no ground game, none. 27 passing touchdowns, 12 interceptions, just over 4,000 yards. Not even 500 yards on the ground for Trey Kate Chamberlain, 808 touchdowns. Receiving wise, 1,200 yards for Xavier Anderson, eight touchdowns, but it just didn't matter. This is this is bad, boys. This might be it. This might be the, the end of it for Caleb Williams. Let's see. Let's take a look at their retirements. Did Caleb Williams decide to hang it up? I don't think he did. Caleb Williams, 40 year old Caleb Williams decides to come back and just, I don't really know what he's gonna do, but we'll see if he comes back to Miami. He might not even start in Miami. There's a guy that's like a 78 overall right behind him. Let's take a look at the roster. Caleb Williams is on the roster. He's the backup. He's a 76 overall old man Caleb Williams, 41 years old in his 19th season. He's the backup. Oh my God, yeah boys, this is it. This is the final season. He's behind Hutchinson, who's 30 himself. Oh my God, what a fall from grace. That's what happens when you get old boys. He's 41, not everybody ages like Tom Brady. Let's see if we made the playoffs. We went six and 11. Boys, I think this is it for Caleb Williams. I don't think he even played this season. And uh, yep, Adam Hutchinson had, was seventh in the league in passing yards. Caleb Williams got in there through three balls. Excuse me, through eight balls. What a sad day. 70 downs play, damn man. How do we get rookie of the year, bro? Who the fuck just won rookie of the year? <laughs> who the hell just won rookie of the year? Shout out to Paul Bridges, I guess. I don't even know who this is. Thanks for getting me that achievement, big dog. I appreciate it. Did Caleb Williams finally retire? Caleb Williams, man. After 20 years, Caleb Williams retires what a career he had let's take a look at this in the stats from caleb williams man i don't even know if i can actually I don't know if i can anymore which is actually not good nfl record book caleb williams forty-five thousand passing yards in his career with the bears 364 passing touchdowns caleb williams in just his rookie season alone broke the bears passing touchdown and yards record in his career the bears caleb williams forty-five thousand passing yards broncos he wasn't going to have any of these. In his season, Caleb Williams, 4,400 passing yards, broke the Bears' single-season record, as well as 43 passing touchdowns. And in the game, 471 passing yards, the Bears' single-game record holder. Let's take a look if he had any with the Broncos. I figured he didn't. He was only there for a couple of years. Maybe with the Dolphins? No. Maybe in a season? Maybe in a game? Damn. Let's see career stats. Caleb Williams. They're not going to let me see it. That's crazy. Because he retired, I'm not going to get to see it. Oh, I should have looked before. Oh, and if, oh, this is... Damn. I think Caleb Williams had about 45,000 passing yards. Can I look all time? Is there like an all time thing? How do I do this? League history? He's gonna be a Hall of Famer. Caleb Williams, the end of his career, he was a two time Super Bowl winner, a five time MVP, threw for like 50,000 passing yards. Listen, at the end of the day, people can sit here and say whatever they want. Caleb Williams was a superstar, and at the end of the day, he has a great career. He's gonna have a great career. Hopefully, he stays with Bears his entire career. Um, but yeah, this is something different, something new. I want to try it out. Play a little gameplay, let the CPU handle most of it. But at the end of the day, if you want to see more career sims, please let me know.